Hey YouTube, welcome to another Trainsim 4 video. Uh, today we are back on London Commuter, um, driving a Gatwick Express. Um, service number, head code number, whatever you want to say, I don't know. Um, please help me with the terminology here. Um, but it is one whiskey 26, London Victoria to Brighton. Um, and it is a Gatwick Express service. And we are in the class 387 slash 2. And we've got 12 cars. Um, so three trains all um, joined together. So, as always, I don't quite know what that was. Um, we will be running with the full safety systems on. So while I open up the doors um, and load up, I think, yes, that's side. So you, what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to quickly sort the safety systems out and do the normal. Vigilance, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there apart from AWS. Um, yeah, so. Gotta wait till 8.13, let's just clear all that noise. Um, before we can depart, and let's just have a look at where we're stopping. So we've got Gatwick Airport, Platform 5, um, and then Brighton. Um, so this is the good thing about the uh, Gatwick Express routes. It is pretty much an express service. Um, yeah. So I want to do is just click the DRA on just while we're here so that I don't forget to do anything. Test the, test the old horns. Um, and yeah. Just got to wait, I suppose. Hopefully everyone is well. Um, I have been um, going through the videos I have recorded um, to sort of upload and sort out and created a new playlist for everything. I don't know what I was beeping. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. So we're in a lovely Gatwick Express livery um, 377, a 387 even. So, oh, I forgot to do the headlights. That was embarrassing. Uh, day running will do. Um, and we should have some tail lights if I can get the view. Yep, we do. And we've got a back door. Excellent. So, yeah. So, we're now able to go. I should have really closed the doors, but I was talking. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's, let's begin. Let's go to Gatwick Airport. Oh, DRA set. That's better. So, leaving Victoria, we are on a 20 mile an hour speed limit. Um, which is, I suppose, for safety reasons. I don't know. So, in one of my last videos, I was saying about um, speed restrictions for coming into stations. I'm not overly sure what the... Um, <clears throat> what the exact mandate is, if someone knows, um, again, feel free to post a comment below. But I kind of feel 30, 40 miles an hour on the approach is probably ample. Um, let me know your thoughts. Okay, let's... Oh, I don't want to break. Disconcerting when a train is heading towards your line. Oh, and straight away we've oversped, never mind. We are going a bit uphill. Like I say, we do have 12 cars with us, um, or 12 cars behind us. Um, so it is a full length train, which is um, always fun. So I think, again, you've kind of got the benefits of the full train to help slow you down when you're approaching a train station, but. As I say, if anyone knows the official line um, of what speed you should be entering the um, train stations at, if you are going to stop, obviously, if you're not going to stop, then I guess it's just the line speed. Um, but feel free to let us know below. I do love the scenery coming out of Vic when you see Battersea Power Station. I don't think we can really see much, but you've got the London sort of South London-y sort of yeah <laughs> look um, 
I guess in real life it's it's a much better view than what it is from a train camp in a sim. Um, incidentally, I haven't actually been on the Vic line for quite a few years. I'm, I moved to Slough, so I tend to go into London on the train via Paddington. So, um, not as picturesque, let's say. So, line speeds increased to 45 miles an hour, um, which is good. For us, we can just keep just gentle this gentle acceleration go going. We will have to slow down, I think. Or will we? Let's just coast it a little bit. It's actually been a while since I've played this route, um, especially in the Gat, the Gat, the Gatwick Express. Um, I have to say, let's put some brakes on. Let's say we do have 12 cars, so the weight, obviously, of the train is going to push us down the hill. Um, I did find that in another episode I did where I had 12 cars on me, and yeah. I did um I did overspeed quite a lot. <laughs> uh yeah. Also 12 cars when the speed limits change it is slightly annoying because you have to wait for the 12th car to to go through which is uh <laughs> i guess that's that's how it is so obviously if there is a speed restriction on a set of points or anything that the uh, train doesn't derail itself but um can be quite annoying when you're trying to gather up speed so we've got a caution um now i'm not quite sure what to do here so we've got a green okay so whatever it is it's cleared it So there is obviously something ahead of us. What we do is I'm just going to coast. Because it is possible we're going to have to stop. Nope. So there is something definitely ahead of us. Um, See in the top right, the the signals are ever going from amber to green. Um, it's not a problem. some extra room to get up the hill. Oh, one. Going uphill as well. I am trying my best to actually get perfect scoring in these games. If anyone works on the railways that ends up watching these, can you let me know what the speed limit actually infringement looks like for like one mile an hour? Um, and if it is as bad as what the game makes it out to be, it would be quite useful to know.
Okay, so we've got a 70 mile an hour speed limit. Let's just coast down this hill. <laughs> you know what I'm like when I'm trying not to speed, and I do. So there's no upcoming speed restrictions um, and we seem to be still behind this train possibly another express which we may end up overtaking at East Croy Croydon um, this is my kind of thoughts on the matter sound the horn, eh? So we're keeping a steady... Let me just tap the brake there just a little bit. Sort of aid us from not doing anything wrong or naughty. Okay, so we are slowing down in a minute to, I'm, I'm going to guess it's the approach into East Croydon. Um, I'm going to guess at that anyway, I might be wrong, I might be a bit further out than what I thought. Although this does resemble East Croydon ish. Slower down. Now that wasn't East Croy Croy Croydon. I'm going to guess that was Thornton Heath or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep the brake. I'm just going to keep the power off a little bit because we've got to slow down to 45 anyway. Um, in half a mile so and I think we've got enough time to do it because we're going to head up to 90 miles an hour so and I know we get some layover time at Gat Gatwick Airport so that's not necessarily the end of the world
Ah, this is his Croydon. Just put some power on a little bit. I don't really need to. Let's put power one. Stop us from slowing down anymore. Should be able to hit 60. There we go. <clears throat> and we got 90 after South Croydon. There's our marker for 90. Happy days. Just wait for the rest of the train to go through it. It's quite a long train. <laughs> So obviously we are going uphill so the um, acceleration is going to be a little bit yeah I think <clears throat> so yeah Okay, so we're still at 90. Chewing through the mileage now.
do like the graphics in TS4. I, I, I don't know if it's, it's an improvement ish, but yeah. I do like them. I, it, it seems to run a little bit smoother in 4 than it did in 3, but I don't know. Let's know your thoughts. down a little bit so that we don't overspeed. Heading into the tunnels. Let's turn some cab lights on, why not? I still think we're catching up to something. I don't know what, but we are catching up to it quite a lot. <coughs> quite a lot, I mean quite quickly. This is where the speed does something strange. It goes 80, I think, through Merstam, if I remember correctly, and then goes back up to 90. Put a little bit distance through me and that train ahead. I mean, we are doing okay for time, in all honesty. Not that most train companies actually care about the times, but um, yeah, if I can be on time for my passengers, then uh, all well and good, you know, I mean, they might have some flights on board or flights on board. <laughs> passengers might be going to the airport to get some flights um, or other connections. Um, so it's always good to have them there on time. to 90 
as I said, we're <coughs> really on time. I mean, we got 3.5 miles to go and something like three minutes or four minutes to get, get there. So we're doing well, we're doing really well. Sorry, I just had to grab a screenshot then. Start slowing it down. So as I was saying at the start of the video, I'm going to approach in just round about 30. I'm actually surprised there's no speed restriction there to actually slow you down on it. Um, seems a bit daft that they don't actually have that. you do come in hot and you've got a red signal you've got to be very careful that um, you don't exceed it when you stop at the platform especially in the long <coughs> especially in the long long the longer trains because you don't have a lot of real estate to um, to be forgiven on um, so yeah what I'm going to do quickly I'm just going to hop out the train and have a If I can. There we go. Watch everyone get off. Um, I do like Gatwick Airport. It's it's pretty cool. Um, but that's another thing when you are running slightly you early. Um, Please tell a member of staff or the police. You may sort of like be behind another train, so that's why you get the red, yeah. So there is one ahead of us. Um, Hopefully he's not going to hold us up all the way down. It's actually something to be mindful of. Let's see, danger of death. Do not ride on the outside of the train. Um, let's see who's on board. What I want to do, actually, and I haven't done, done, done it yet, is actually sit on the train. Um... 
and sort of see what that's like, which is some something I might do 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 in another video, another video, um, especially at South Cro Croydon, because I've noticed that there's a a yellow uh, blue uh, mar marker flag, so there's obviously a um, scenario that you can do. So it's it's just something I want to investigate a little bit more. Um, yeah, right. Let's close the door. Up, stretch my legs. Okay, let's go to Brighton. Anyone know what these two monitors are here for? Is that just for the... the passengers? Or... the passenger monitors sort of thing? Or what? I, I don't know. So we're back to 90 miles an hour. Um, I know at some point the speed restriction will come down to about 60, I think. Um, but yeah. Uh, where's my wiper controls? There we go. Okay, it could be worse, it could be snowing. I guess let's turn up a little bit more. Hmm. Slow then. So it's raining on the way to Brighton, why not? As I say, it's, bit, it's better than snow when you get wool slip, when you're going up hills and all that sort of thing. I mean, the good thing is you are. <coughs> there is a high speed-ish sort of line. I know it's only um, 90 miles an hour, but yeah, I know it's not all the way down to Brighton, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, um, I do plan on running a class 43 out. Uh, obviously, or even actually, run the ja 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 run a ja run a, a javelin service because that's got third rail on it, hasn't it? Yeah. We could do do that. Sounds like fun. Okay, so we've got to go to eighty mile an hour in about a mile. So we can't do what we did before. We'll, oh no, it's snowing. Oh. Yes. 
snow. I don't know why I thought it was rain. Power up a little bit just so we can keep the incline going. We should be back to not yeah we are back to 19 in a very short while so wherever that train is in front of us it's um it's gone. I'm not too sure what the, South, what the Southern Express service does. If it does Clapham, East Croydon, Gatwick Airport, and then straight down to Brighton, or if it does other stops in between. But we haven't, unless we overtook, unless we overtook the train at Three Bridges. <clears throat> Let's go back up to um, 90. Balkan. Snow's oh, getting really bad down here, isn't it? That does look like a really, really good picture actually, so what I'm going to do... I wonder why I pushed escape then. No. I was actually going to do a photo mode. Yeah, I will do. Um, that has to be done, I'm afraid. Let's do that. Save. Um, yeah. It's so thirteen miles out, of Brighton.
watching Hayward's Heath, I think. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Hayward's Heath. So I've never actually done the Gatwick Express down to Bright Brighton before. I've done an all stops down there and I've done the East Coast Coastway, which I'll start doing some videos on soon. Um, but I've never actually done the, Ga the Gatwick Express down there. I can't believe it's all downhill. Bit late for that crossing, I know. Now we've got an uphill. It's not getting any more covered, is it? You would kind of think if it's heading towards it, but I guess it's just the... Little bit of an Uber speed. So it would be quite interesting to know what the, uh, the actual rules are about the Uber speed in real life. Um, I'm guessing that there is penalties involved for going too fast, but if it is one mile an hour or not, I would be um, intrigued to know. Though we didn't get penalised for it, penalised even. That's a beautiful tunnel. It's 
So five and a half miles out, a couple of minutes. We think we're at 90 miles an hour, so 60 miles an hour is a mile a minute. So about a mile, uh, mile and a half every minute. So we might find ourselves having to wait at Brighton, um, hopefully not. We are definitely behind something. Still. Let's get the brakes on because we're going down to 75 miles an hour. And not only that, I think we're running a little bit early as well, so it would actually help us out a little bit. Having that ability to slow down, especially as it is icy and we are going to have some issues, possibly. Maybe, hopefully not. So, I mean, we did overspeed a little bit. <coughs> we, I, overspeed a little bit. So, um, it'd be quite interesting. I'm trying to get golds on everything I do. Um, if not per perfects, if you can get perfect score on some of the um, scenarios and that, um, some of them do let you. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So we're two miles out and we've got 40 mile an hour speed restriction coming up. That's obviously on the entrance to Brighton. It slips down again to about 25 if I remember correctly, or that might just be on the east coast. I don't know. Don't know. We should start seeing a warning sign for 40 miles an hour. Yeah, it's 25. So because of the snow, I'm going to bring it down a little bit in speed, just so that we're not slamming on the brakes and doing a slip and doing a slip and slide. And not only that, we do have to slow right down to 25 miles an hour. And yet again, at Brighton, there's a 90 mile an hour speed restriction, or speed limit, I should say, at the train station. Um, I don't know why they do it. I just, I just don't know. Um, it does make, it does make me smile when you get to a terminus stop and um, you start seeing things like 90 miles an hour. So my plan kind of worked out actually, just slowing down nice and gently. Um, we don't appear to be slip slipping um, and we've got enough as we go through Lover's Lane to um, keep slowing down to 25 so we're going to not horrendously overspeed. Oop. Too much. Gone the wrong way with the keys. I do love the approach into 
bison, it's really nice. Especially when you're nice and early because you can just roll the train, train in. It's nice. Oh, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit. No, we didn't. Did we? No, we didn't hit. That's good. Uh, you is a kill one. So just wait for these bad boys to get off the train, and that'll be the end of the episode. This one's going to Victoria, Gatwick Airport, London. That's an all stopper. Hasix Burgess Hill, Hover to Gatwick. So, yet again, thank you for watching once again. And um, if you like that, please hit that like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching now. Bye bye.